well, let us look at in this video the complications of preeclampsia. What will happen if there is preeclampsia? Right? Um, this will lead to eclampsia. Obviously, this you are able to understand. So, there will be what will happen? Seizures. Right? That becomes eclampsia. Eclampsia is what? Seizures. Apart from that, what can happen? There can be hemorrhage. Cerebral hemorrhage, etc. can happen. She will have allig oliguria, anuria. The kidney is not getting uh, perfused. Right? There can be diminution of vision, even blindness. She can go into blindness. So, you should be careful um, about uh, handling preeclampsia. Then preterm labor, she can go into preterm labor to throw out the baby. Help syndrome where there is uh, hemolysis, elevated liver enzymes and uh, low platelet count. So, uh, cerebral hemorrhage, we told you already. Then acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS can happen. Okay, this is during the pregnancy. If she is in preeclampsia and she is going into labor, again she can go into eclampsia, that is seizures, coma, etc. She can have more uh, uh, problem with uh, postpartum hemorrhage because of coagulation failure. Um, then uh, pure perium, uh, once she has delivered the baby, again she can have eclampsia, that is she can have uh, 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 seizures, but that is within 48 hours they are saying. Shock can be there. Purpural vasometer collapse, okay. So, with reduced concentration of sodium and chloride because there is sudden fall in the corticosteroid level. She can go into sepsis because of um, operative interference etc. What to the mother remote uh, uh, effects will be like she can have some residual hypertension even after the pregnancy. She can have recurrent preeclampsia right in the subsequent pregnancies. Then she can have chronic renal disease because if she has suffered a lot with the kidney right uh, suffering during the uh, pregnancy she can go into chronic renal disease okay. There is a high incidence of glomerular nephritis in women with preeclampsia remote for from term okay. Uh, placental absorption can happen a risk of placental abruption for people with help syndrome okay now let us look at what can happen for the fetus okay so fetus we already told you intrauterine growth restriction then it can go into intrauterine death asphyxia asphyxia is a result of hypoxia so it's not getting oxygen it will go into asphyxia then prematurity it can get thrown out of the uterus much earlier than it should okay so these are the complications for fetus because of preeclampsia